in your FPV drone kit, <coughs> excuse me, it should have came with a alley wrench key to remove your drone's skin protective cover. This one comes with a lime green, which I think is pretty neat. I pretty much going to order me my own skins. As you can see in the background, I like to scan this on my screen saver. But this key is very important, so make sure you don't lose it. Keep it in the box. And as you can see, I haven't opened mine yet. But today we're going to change out this cover, which is very easy to do. Just take your time. Also, before you power up your drone, always remember to take off this cap. I always remember to take off this cap because your gimbal has to do a cycle once you power it up. And if you have this cap on, you can potentially damage the cycle motors and damage the gimbal. That you don't want to do. So how I usually take mine off is, at the bottom, there's enough room for a thumb or a finger, however you want to do it. But I usually press in and pull up. Press in and pull up. This is a hex key that came with your drone. And this will be the key you'll be using to take out the six screws, which there are four on the front. And then you also have two on each side. So we're gonna take this off. <clears throat> and we're gonna place on the lime green protective skin to custom out my drone. I'll take my first four out. And if I'm not mistaken, these four screws on the top part of the drone is actually longer than the ones on the side, so you can't get them mixed up. You can, but you can't. Let's say it that way. One out, very easy. Three. That one there a little tight. It's trying to be a little bugger with the boy. And four. Now, <clears throat> I'll turn to the left side of the drone and do the same. which just like I said, they're smaller than the ones, the four that's on the front. That's one. And they're not in there that tight. You don't want to put them back in there that tight. Cause this plastic is not hard at all. It's a hard, it's, it's kind of thin. You don't want to break it. Neither do you want to mess up the screw grooves for tightening up the cap once placing these back on. That's two. We're gonna turn it around. We have two more.
have all four screws out. Two on each side. Four in the front. And as you can see, the ones in the front are longer than the ones on the side. So there won't be no mistaking. Okay, to make this easy to actually take this covering off, I would suggest that you remove the battery first. Once you remove the battery, turn back to the front where you removed all four of the cap screws and you can remove this piece here. The gimbal, it, it locks the gimbal in. And just be careful right off comes right off once you remove these four screws now I can turn back to the side and I can easily pull these pieces out this one is loose I come back over to this side same over here. Now I have both pieces loose and I'll continue to move the, the canopy. It's kind of got like wedges in it. It's kind of like tucked. It's tucked in like a shirt on your body. But no matter what I still just try and take it easy. I don't want to damage my gimbal. same way that one came on. So as you can see it had these little grooves in it. Let's turn this to the side. See the little grooves? back a little bit to get that piece in. It's kind of hard, but we want to make that flush. And notice the other time that I put my hand on the gimbal. Because pulling on this little hard plastic, which is thin, but it's kind of hard, you don't want to damage that gimbal. Next, let's get the gimbal protector back on. Raise my gimbal just a slight tad, and we want to line these up back with those holes, screw holes. 
which is it's not hard. You just want to take your time. Kind of show where you can push this back in. We're gonna sit it down. Put those in first. Because that was easier to drop the two in the top first. You'll get it once you do it. You just don't want to be rough with it. And as you can see, it's lined up. Next, let's put the screws back in. this covering because I probably painted myself I might do a weird color and do something different like I want to custom my own drone I see they sell the skins on the website they got different skins but me personally I want to do something just a little different with mine so I'm gonna make sure I keep my casing that came out of and I am a neat freak so I like to pretty much keep everything in order. Just in case something new comes out and I decide to sell this one, I'm gonna keep it in best of shape. I'll still have all the original parts that came with it. Let's start out first by putting the four side screws in. Which remember we had, just kind of magnetized with your hex key. Remember not to tie them too tight, just tight enough. Pinky tight. Let's go with the next one. you're drawn up against to keep it from sliding. I'm gonna give it a little pinch tightness, not too tight. Two more and then we're gonna enter the four in the front of the gimbal that holds it in place. And as you can see I don't Got a little groove on putting my screws back in, which is not hard to do. <clears throat> I like all the different skins that I've seen on the websites. I made one of my screen cover, but I think I'll custom my own. I like those, don't get me wrong, they're pretty nice, and I think I will grab a couple, but I also like my own. This lime green is pretty decent too. what comes with all the drones just in case you're flying with another FPV drone flyer we're gonna call it and this can distinguish which is which unless you put a special marking on yours like I am going to do you that a little pinky tightness so we have the four in we got one two here one two there it wasn't that rough now, let's place the four in the top. I bet losing one of these little screws is tough. What if one just fall in a hole? You want to leave it in there? Because it's so tiny. But the hex key is magnetized, so.
same thing. Just a little tightness, not too tight. Back with my groove. A little pinky tight. And two more and this guy will be good to go. And once again, I don't want to make it too tight so I can damage the screw or his grooves to tighten it up. One more, and it'll be best to do it with the long end. The short end is gonna get in your way near your propeller motors. Look at there. If that had a fell on the floor, it'd been a, a little hunt for that guy, huh? We don't want that. No, we don't want that. And as you can see, while I'm putting my screws in, I'm also being careful not to green in color. Also, place my battery back in. Whenever you put this in, make sure you clamp it. And let me show you what I mean by that gimbal. I'm just going to power this on to show you why it's very important. Remember this, before you fly your drone, take off the gimbal cover. It's very important. Now, I'm going to cut this on. I'm going to power this on. One press. Then hold. Watch that gimbal cycle. Oh, that sounds so monstrous. But you see how that gimbal cycles? If this cover is on, it's not going to be able to cycle and you could potentially damage the motors that cycles the gimbal. One press, one long press, and that is how you put your skin on. 